welcome to this video where I'm going to show you some Master League action. Remember how I used to play like factions and make videos and stuff? I have that again. So I have a Master League matchup right here. It's in the Mexican uh, uh, Arena Legendaria. I probably totally uh, screwed it up with the Spanish uh, pronunciation, but let's take a look at the matter. So if I take a look at this meta, it's like a point system again. You have nine points. Battle Frontier used to have eight. Um, but they allow Mega Rayquaza, Mega Garjo, Mega Latios, and Latios, Mega Zard Y, and Mega Titar. These Pokemon are extremely strong. And the more I simped a little bit around, the more I realized that these Pokemon are extremely oppressive, even winning some of their worst matchups, matchups you think they would lose. Obviously, Rayquaza is not going to win like Florges or Fairy. Most Fairy types, maybe you do with the Dragon to Advantage. But. It's like a Metagross or Melmetal. Those are just not bad matchups, uh, just to put things in perspective. So, where I started off as just building with like a Dialga, maybe uh, maybe I'll try that. Mega Heracle is pretty cool. I realized, wait, <laughs> why would I not play Mega Rayquaza? I just need, I just bring three Pokemon every time, right? So if I have six points into one of those Oath Power Pokemon, 33% of my team will be good! And then I have three points for like a Kyogre maybe. Um, so yeah, that's how I approach this meta. These are the teams that we have here. Um, I really overlooked how the meta works. So one of my teammates said, you're pretty weak to Ho. Are you not concerned about it? And I'm like, I've never ever seen anyone use a Ho. I, I faced one in Battle Frontier, also from a Latam team. And well, that thing just sucked. So no, I didn't expect it. But what I overlooked here is because you have all these high uh, CP picks, right? Like the, the Mega Latios, the Mega Garchomp, Mega Terranitar, Mega Rayquaza. The meta, actually, the, the anti-meta is Tokyus and Metagross, or at least Metagross and a Fairy, because it keeps most of those Pokemon in check. And Ho-Oh counters Metagross and a Fairy type. So, severely overlooked that. Not just the Ho-Oh, but his Metagross, because I didn't bring a single Metagross answer. Um, luckily, he best buddied his Rayquaza, so I best buddied my Metagross, and it, it should win the mirror at least, so I have some play. Taking a closer look at the team and the moveset that I have, Rayquaza, Zacian, Metagross, and maybe Nihiligio are going to be my most important assets. Um, Rayquaza is really only hard-checked by the Forges, just because it's so busted and <laughs> so high in its stats. Zacian kind of is threatened by the Metagross, for which I don't have an answer, so Zacian is kind of always a, a risk to bring. With Quick Attack and Wild Charge, I should have decent play into both Rayquaza and Ho-Oh, and I can at least hit the Metagross back. Like I said, I have my own Metagross best buddy, so it's a little bit better into his. For Aishon, you can just skip. I'm not going to use this. Like, it's just uses into his team. And Nihiligio does pretty well against about everything that's not Annihilate and the Metagross. So it's actually a pretty useful Pokemon. Just like the Zacian, though. Kind of unfortunate that it's about unusable if there's like Metagross still walking around. But I am actually may use that Pokemon a little bit because it's very bulky and has very high stats. Um, and then Togekiss is like an alternative for Zacian, but not a Pokemon I'm really going to use. That's less play into Metagross. Uh, the flamethrower takes too less, to, takes too long to get to. Before going into battle number one, I've actually done quite some practice for this matchup because, man, I want to do well on my first uh, matchup here. However, I never really had the best buddy scenarios in my mind, so now it becomes way less appealing to lead my own Rayquaza. I value my Metagross more because I want to win the mirror um, because his Metagross is best asset against my team. I lead my Metagross into his Metagross. This is a great lead for me because with that best buddy, I should win this or at least make this very close. It says Shando Metagross, pretty cool. He's gonna try to catch an Earthquake on his Rayquaza and I'll be very quick with the Reflex. Now I still have all my energy. I'm one uh, bullet punch ahead as well on his Metagross, but I also don't like losing Switch advantage here because his energy is still good on my Rayquaza. He goes straight Breaking Swipe here, which I find very interesting. A Dragon Ascent would basically take my Zacian out in one attack. So um, I don't really see reason to go straight Breaking Swipe here. He even shields the first attack, which is a little bit annoying because <laughs> this Rayquaza has such high attack that it actually will wear me down. He gets the attack drop, unfortunately. Now the player will do less damage. Player of already isn't exactly the strongest attack. But it's still super effective. And because I'm a fairy type, uh, you know, I don't take too much damage here. I actually think I will barely take this. It will get very close on the dot. Breaking Swipe comes through. I still have the Wild Charge. If he wants Switch Advantage, he must have Ho-Oh in the back. Because then he really wants a ho on my Metagross here. I don't really mind. I'm going to take the damage on my own Metagross here. Um, which actually still adds up. In fact, you'll see later that Rayquaza is not bad against Metagross at all. It just has such a ridiculous attack set. I wait for the Ho-Oh to come in. Here it comes. But I have two shields. Bringing your Metagross, even with that energy, it's still fine. He goes straight for the Brave Bird here, which I'm fine with. I'll just shield that. I think that does more than a Meteor Mash. In comes his Metagross, but it shields down. And I believe he's about, like, five off the next charge attack here, or even six. I need to build up some energy. I need to be one over the Dragon Ascent, so I can upace the Ho-Oh here. So I'm going to go for Dragon Ascent. This is resisted, but I have such high attack, it will knock out that Metagross. Defense drop sucks, but I get a Breaking Swipe off here. Even if he outpaced me, I had two Meteor Mash. He needs the Brave Bird to knock me out. I'm in a very fine spot here. In fact, I 
win game number one. That's play into the Zashin was extremely interesting because uh, going two shields down was, uh, yeah, that, that just let my request to sweep him. I feel like I kind of got away there though with my Zashin just barely hanging on there on that Rayquaza. So um, I got to be a little bit more cautious here. I'm going to go into game number two, leading Metagross again, just to save the lead that I have. Leading into floor just this is so good. And I have my Naya Legio in the back. So I have two hard floor just on, but I flinch a little bit here. I'm going to bait the medium ash. I actually tend to switch into Rayquaza at some point. I actually want to try and catch an Earthquake. Because um, even if it's like a ho or something in the back, I should be just extremely fine with Naya Legio being a big core breaker to that. I think it's Rayquaza though. And Naya Legio is actually so, so into Rayquaza. It actually loses all the even shields. Because he went straight Earthquake there and I'm one bullet punch ahead, I can go straight Earthquake from this point because I had one medium ash bait. Even if he baits a medium ash, yeah, I should be very fine. The annoying part though about this matchup is that his timer is getting very close to being up. And if he saves this, I'm actually in trouble because I didn't bring the Zacian. I'm not that great into this Rayquaza coming in right now. So I'm just going to throw my medium ash. But man, I'm in, I'm in trouble. I need to preserve my Metagross. I need to. There's a lot of damage. I'm gonna catch this. Um, not getting a sneak is interesting, but oh well. Uh, Naya Legio, extremely high stats. Actually takes quite some damage from this Breakers right from these Dragon Tails. Does this knock out? I need to lift this. If I don't lift this, I lose the battle because then my Rayquaza will be aligned to the Floaters. But <laughs> I again hang on by 1 HP there, getting away, knocking out this Rayquaza. Now his Metagross comes in. I can align my Rayquaza here because I don't really rely on it against the floor just floor just has a very good matchup there with one dragon Duel advantage i believe i can win the zero shoots against the floor just even he goes for the medium ash here luckily so now the timer is not up yeah now the timer is up and he goes into floor just. i was didn't even throw a dragon till swapped in my my metagross immediately but now if he farms me down i might get iffy i believe i have a breaking swipe store though so i might just be okay you don't see me do the last fast attack there just because i want to make sure i get the last dragon till in if i wasn't at a breaking swipe just yet i now will be and that does about 28% or so on the Metagross. This should knock out, and that wins me game number two. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, that's, that start off really well, leading into Florges and Naya Legio in the back, but again, you see his Metagross is just a big problem if he preserves that. Final battle. I feel like there's probably a whole lead or something coming, so I'm going to lead Naya Legio this time, which might be a little bit risky if he leads his own Metagross, and I'll be behind on energy. But because I have the best buddy and he does on the Metagross, I feel more confident with the Naya Legio lead here. Um, I lead into Rayquaza, though, so I lose all even shields here, unfortunately, but I should be able to at least force some shields or energy from him. Also, because he's best buddy, I believe he deals a little bit more damage, maybe with the Breaking Swipe, because normally the Naya Legio should be able to get to the next Rock Slide here, as you can see, but I, this time I don't have the luck to barely hang on, so this is not looking great for me right now. Man, look at the CP on that thing. It's actually huge. Um, okay, if he goes for a Dragon Ascent, but he throws one before, so I don't have to shield this. Just a Breaking Swipe. Like a Dragon Ascent probably would have put me into the red there. No debuff is great as well. I'm going to go for the shield advance on the Rayquaza. If, if it is his Metagross, if it is Metagross and Florges, I'm just dead here. But if it's Ho-Oh in the back, that will be cooking. Let's see. Medium match sticks out. In the back is Ho-Oh. Okay, there's good play here. That's what he does. Two incinerate, then switches out. So he needs one incinerate for a Brave Ride. I need to keep that in mind. I was thinking for a second, should I go Dragon Ascent? Because there's no way he shields the first attack. But also, that's probably giving him a win condition. Because if he does shield it, he wins the battle. So I'm going to go straight Breaking Swipe here. Maybe shield everything even. I'm not too sure. Breaking Swipe comes through. He shields that. You see, I sneak a whole Dragon, too, by the way. <laughs> you see that this matchup is not that bad for Rayquaza. Of course, I'm a shield vantage up, but you should win the zeros and the two shield scenario as Mega Rayquaza, regardless. You lose the one shield, so to Metagross. Take it out. Still have a shield. Uh, he's now the Brave Bird. He throws immediately. Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's just over anyway. I'm gonna time perfectly even. Three Dragon Tail for two incinerates. The Dragon Tails add up so much. Just crazy how Rayquaza sometimes just disappears while doing his fast attacks. And that wins me the battle. I win this matchup by a 3-0! So that was the video for this time. Hopefully more to come and hope you liked it. See you in the next one. Bye.